What's up guys, AD back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video we are going to be guiding you all throughout the select boxes that we currently have going around here on Destiny Child. Now let's get started here with the Raid Boss Child Select Box which is honestly pretty easy to choose from as I'll be suggesting you all to pick up Anemone here and of course obtaining her until you do manage to increase her to plus 6 uncap. So after you do manage to obtain Anemone up until plus 6, if you do happen to do so, then I would suggest you all to consider a unit such as Isolate here as she is a very strong water type debuffer for PvP. So I definitely consider her if you don't happen to have her already as well as the uncaps here for herself as she is definitely a strong character to have around. So a pretty easy select box here, you'll want to head into Anemone until you do have her at plus 6 status and after Anemone I would suggest you all to pick up isolate next up here everyone we do have the four year special spa skin power select box now here you can't really go wrong with any choice i would definitely just recommend you guys to pick the ones that you do like as the first spa skin you do obtain in the spa realm will be the appearance and after that you'll be able to obtain some stats applied to your characters so for the spa skin select box i suggest you guys to pick whichever spa skin you like personally next up here everyone we do have the four year child select box here from the hapastis forge now there are a ton of great options here but i'll be condensing these into the flexible options as well as the very strong pvp options now if you do happen to have any questions regarding your current archive make sure to leave them in the comment section below or join my discord server linked in the description box down there as well as for my suggestions here everyone i would start out with polar pepita this is without a doubt the best option from this box as she is a very flexible wood type attacker and definitely the best unit here on destiny child global as of now so if you don't happen to have her this is a no-brainer make sure to pick up polar pepita from this child select box next up here everyone we do have natalis natalis is a very amazing light type debuffer that is a staple for the Devil Rumble and Endless Duel sides of Destiny Child. She is also very amazing for the Spacewalk game mode, so if you do happen to have Pepita already, I would suggest you all to pick up Natalis. After Natalis here everyone, we do have Ziva. I would recommend you all to pick up Ziva after Polar Pepita or Natalis if you do happen to have those two options already, as Ziva is a very amazing fire type debuffer for the Devil Rumble, and she also flexes very well to the Endless Duel game mode. She is also another great option option for the spacewalk game mode here on destiny child as well and happens to do very well there after ziva everyone we do have string jachungbi a very amazing light type supporter that does perform very well in the double rumble side of destiny child she is also pretty strong alongside other light type allies and does flex very well to the world boss trial now a note here for jachungbi unfortunately she doesn't perform too well at low uncap but nonetheless a great option here in this light type supporter next up here everyone we do have mascot freya the wood type healer this healer is honestly the best for the world boss trial events and will do very well if you are a newer player and do lack sustainability in story mode so this would be the last option that i'd personally suggest from this box now the rest would vary on your archive and current uncaps etc so if you do have any questions further make sure to leave them in the comments section below next up here everyone for the fourth anniversary prism solo carta and the normal solo carta select box i'd personally suggest the following now first First up here we do have accidental valentine this soul cutter is very amazing for any type of pvp attacker as well as debuffer now most of these suggestions are going to be based upon pvp here in destiny child as if you do happen to choose a pve soul cutter there's a great chance that it does manage to get outclassed in the very near future so we are going to be recommending soul cutters that are very flexible so accidental valentine here would be my top suggestion overall so make sure to grab this soul cutter if you don't happen to have it or don't happen to have many copies. Next up here everyone we do have Change of Air which is a pretty top priority soul card for your supporters. This is used a ton in PvE as well as in PvP so you can't really go wrong with the Change of Air soul card here. It is very necessary for your supporter units. Next up here everyone we do have Citrus Temptation which is a very flexible HP and defense soul card that does manage to increase your HP further with the special option here. Now it doesn't have any restrictions so it is very nice in all areas of Destiny Child and 
I'd recommend this one after Change of Air. Next up here, everyone, we do have Prince Carry, which is a very amazing solo card that does allow your unit to act before the others happen to have the chance. So if you're interested in a PvP solo card that is very amazing on supporters such as Anemone or debuffers such as Lemos, etc., make sure to pick up this card here as it is a very strong option for the Devil Rumble and Endless Duel. Last but not least, everyone, I do have a newbie suggestion here. So this one will be suggested towards you beginner players as we do have Showtime here. This is a universal HP and defense solo card that does manage to provide debuff evasion, which will be very important in all areas of Destiny Child. So this would be my last suggestion here for the newer players, especially. So if you do happen to lack debuff evasion as well as HP and defense, and solo cards, I'd personally recommend this one. Next up here, everyone, we do have the four year anniversary amplified core select box in which we do have a ton of options here. So you really don't want to get this one wrong as this box here is a very valuable one for your units. Now for the top core that I would personally prioritize here would definitely be a core for Polar Pepita as she is honestly the best character on Destiny Child. So I would personally recommend the following core of amplified attack and two amp crits. Now this core here is the best for a percentage based slider and I'll be sure to have these charts linked in the description box below if you would like to follow that as well. Now if you are interested in other options there are some other amazing ones here as well such as a great core for PvE which would happen to be the amplified agility core with two amplified attacks. So if you're interested in looking forward towards a core that will do very well in PvE on a unit such as Tokika for example the water type attacker this one would be a great one here. Another core option that is also very strong that I would suggest here as well what happens to be amplified crits and two amplified attacks. So this one here can pretty much be used on Polar Pepita as well and pretty much any attacker. So those would be my top three suggestions here from the amplified core select box. You'll definitely want to prioritize that's amplified attack and two amplified crits as that would definitely be the best option for a unit like Pepita and really any percentage based slider. Now do keep in mind if you already have Polar Pepita ignited with a decent core, I would definitely hold on to this one for our future water type attacker in Ariel that will release in January. She also happens to be a six hit percentage based slider. So try to keep a core saved just for her. So that'll pretty much do it for the select box guide here on the channel, everyone. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below if this guide was helpful to you at all, as well as if you do happen to need any help with your select boxes. Further, make sure to leave those questions down there as well, or join my Discord server linked in the description also. But before you go, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as be sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, check out channel memberships down below as well if you're interested in further supporting the channel. But with all of that being said, I'll catch you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.